Okay, that didn't last too long. So, <laughs> we're, we're back on YouTube, where I feel at home. Hello. <laughs> it was going to be... Uh... Yeah, it sucks. I, it makes me sad. He died. Um, but no, it was, I was going to stream on Twitch, and then we did for a little bit, for like 40 minutes. Everyone was having buffering issues, and then like... I don't know. I, I didn't want to leave people out, you know? Like, you know, Dasani, like, I wanted to make sure you could watch the stuff too, Derek. So, you know, I'd rather just be here. I feel more comfortable on YouTube. So, I'm here. And full of cheer. Get used to it. So, yeah. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to... I don't think I'm going to Twitch. Sorry. I don't like change, alright? I'm a big, fat, white guy that's threatened by change. Wait. I'm a Republican. Ho ho! Sorry. <laughs> that's an old family guy joke. I'm immediately going to mute it so I can try this. I'll be right back. Well, I think it's because uh, you have issues with Twitch, uh, Troy, because tr Twitch sucks. I don't like Twitch. <laughs> like, it was it was kind of an issue getting it set up. My mic didn't work at first. I had to change the setting on my computer for my mic to work, which was really dumb. And then you guys had buffering issues. And then, like, I don't know. I, that's what I was saying earlier. The first thing I saw when I logged into Twitch was it had a bunch of game, uh, uh, God of War Ragnarok. I didn't want to see spoilers on it, so I was like, oh, no. So like, I made sure to not look at any of those. So all, every video it suggested for me was all God of War Ragnarok and then a girl sleeping. Like she'd been sleeping for seven hours. She had like 7,000 people watching her. And she wasn't even like, it wasn't even provocative. Like she was laying in pajamas and a hoodie and like covered up. And I was like, why in the hell are people watching this? T Twitch is weird. I don't know. Twitch is weird and I don't like it. It makes me uncomfortable. I don't know. Stupid. All right, so... We're back on YouTube, which feels better. All right, so I think what I'm going to do, I don't think this will screw it up. I'm going to go Indigo over the whole thing because I did, uh, I'm, I hate how I split that up. I wish I wouldn't have done that. It's so dumb of me. So we're going to go Indigo over the whole painting. I think it'll be fine. Hot beverage and favorite socks. My Lord, that sounds like a night and a half right there. See... Absinthe knows how to party. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. We'll, we'll stay on Twitch. Or, sorry, YouTube. Twitch did, I didn't, I was not a fan of Twitch. It kind of sucked. Hopefully this doesn't screw this up, because I'm, I'm kind of liking it so far, but at the same time, it needs to be more consistent, and it's not very consistent overall. So I think if I do a whole layer of blue over it, it will be consistent. So we'll see. We'll see how that works. But I'm glad to be here, man. It's weird, too, because I felt all naked on Twitch. It was awful. I didn't like it. Like, it was okay. Like, it was just, like, regular streaming. But then, like, I look over at my iPad, and it doesn't look the same. And I get all weird about it. And I don't know. Like I said, big fat white guy threatened my change. I don't like it. No, sir. I don't like it. Much like, you know, Mr. Horse. Okay, yeah, I think this uh, this level this layer of indigo is gonna work. I'm gonna go back over it with black again to shadow it a little better. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Oh, I'll tell you something that's really funny, uh, Troy. Do you ever watch? Um, they're all on uh, YouTube. You can go watch them on YouTube, my platform of choice. <laughs> but uh, there's um, was it comics with uh, Marvel presents comics with the artist the comic greats or. Something like that. It's like that old show with Stan Lee and stuff, and he had like Jim Lee on there and Bashima and stuff like that. Well, he does an episode with Bob Kane, so he's interviewing Bob Kane in like the late '80s, early '90s, and Bob Kane talks about you know Batman, yada yada yada. Bob Kane totally just stole the idea for Batman, <laughs> and like he draws Batman, and it's the most awful looking Batman. Bob Kane can't draw for shit. It's really funny. <laughs> he can't draw at all, and you can tell when he's drawing it too. Stan Lee is like, oh, that's uh. Well, that's something. <laughs> it's so good. I think it's so hilarious. Because even like Stan Lee, 
didn't want to shit talk him, but he re or he didn't shit talk him, but he really wanted to shit talk him, you know. It was really funny. Yeah. Do you guys not just feel more comfortable here? I think I feel more comfortable. I feel way more comfortable here. Like I feel more talkative. I don't know. I'm just happy to be back on YouTube. I don't like it. No more. No more. I'm glad we experimented. I don't like it. I don't like Twitch. Twitch can, as my grandma would say, suck it. So, death Twitch, long live YouTube. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I never got to actually watch it, Troy, like when I was growing up or anything, but I just recently watched it, well, recently, in like the last five to ten years on YouTube, because uh, someone had uploaded all the episodes. There's a great episode, too, with, um, I've watched them all several times, but there's a great episode with uh, uh, Tom McFarlane and uh, Rob Liefeld, and it's just Todd McFarlane giving Rob Liefeld shit the whole time, <laughs> just making fun of him, <laughs> but they're drawing the same piece at the same time. It's pretty cool. Uh, give me just a second. I'm going to blow dry this. Oh, also, well, I'm glad you're here too, Eblot. Thank you. Um, it's funny too because I was on Twitch for like the first 40 minutes of the stream and then I switched back over to YouTube because Twitch scares me. I don't like it. <laughs> Twitch scares me a lot, so I got back on YouTube. Uh, but yeah, we're good. I'm back here in my zone. We're good to go. Um, but no, I was saying, uh, I recently, me and my girlfriend have been watching. We've watched the first, we got one episode left of... Uh, Game of Thrones, House of Dragon. I, dude, it's one of the, I think, even when Game of Thrones wasn't a giant piece of shit, it's one of the best Game of Thrones seasons. It is amazing. Like, I'm really blown away with how good it is. Like, I'm very, very, very impressed. So, uh, I highly recommend it, if you haven't checked it out. You will love it, I think. It's, you can tell, because, you can tell it's George R. R. Martin, because he is unabashedly George R. R. Martin. Like, he writes the stories he wants to write, he is the head... I think, I don't know if he's the head writer, but I know the show was created by him and another dude. Um, he is an executive producer. Um, from all For all intents and purposes, from what I've heard, he has the say over the show. Like, he ha he says what's going to happen with the story. Which was smart. It was stupid to not do that in the first place. Why would you let... Like, because that was David, David Benioff and D.B. Wise, after they ran out of, like, source material, they, they, like, they didn't know what to do. And I think they cut George R. R. Martin out for, like, season four. Like, so they had a lot of source material to write on to make the show good, but then they absolutely ruined it. And, yeah, that's because they're idiots and they can't write a show. Yeah, Twitchophobic. I'm for, for sure Twitchophobic. All right, Weblot. Drawing and watching, that's the best way to watch this stream is to draw. I encourage it. And, yeah, I haven't watched the last episode, so don't, don't spoil anything, even though I saw a gif... That really spoiled it. So I kind of know what's going to happen, but I don't know exactly what's going to happen. So don't tell me, but I can kind of guess it. But it's awesome. I'm see, I've am i watched episode nine. I've got one episode left, and it is incredible so far. Uh, just a second, I'm going to blow dry this again. Uh, I'll tell you what, about uh, them, okay, so I, I read into that quite a bit because uh, The Witcher was my absolute favorite show um, as of as of late. You know, the first three, was it first two seasons? Yeah, first two seasons, incredible. Um, I know that Henry Cavill, I guess they done season three with Henry Cavill. Season four, he's getting replaced. 
by one of the stupid Hemsworth, which which Ian Liam Hemsworth, which I really love Chris Hemsworth, but Henry Cavill as Geralt of Rivia was the single best casting of any character to ever exist. And you will never find a better casting than that. And the thing is. Like, he loved The Witcher. He loved the books. He loved the games. Like, he loved it. And he knew how it should be. Like, there's several... Um, from when I... Uh, there was an article I was reading this topic. There was multiple times where they were, like, wanting to do something. He's like, no, no, no. The book says we should be doing this. This isn't right. This isn't the character. This isn't how it works. So, like, they... Like, he would have to convince them to do it the right way. And, uh... So, apparently, what I heard, too, is that the, the producers and the writers of the show hated The Witcher. They didn't even like it. They didn't even like, like it for what it was. They were just writing what they wanted to write. And apparently it was like creative differences. Like, uh, I think it was Henry Cavill's choice to leave the show. Because he was just like, eh. Like, he wasn't like he was fired or anything. He just left. Which I think is absolutely terrible. Um, because he was perfect. And it it really kind of sucks. It's like almost, it's not as bad, but it's it's like borderline. Uh, it ain't even borderline. It's just, it puts me in the same state of mind as like season 8 of Game of Thrones. Like, it devastated me how bad it was. And, like, it makes me really sad because I love The Witcher so much. The first two seasons were incredible. Season two got a little different, but the first season was awesome. They, I loved them both, though, but I think I like season two better, to be honest, as a show. Um, but, man, like, apparently Henry Cavill did not like the way season three was going and the way the direction they wanted to take the show, so he was like, I'm done. Um, which sucks, man. Like, if you're going to make a show about a nerd source material, listen to a nerd. Do what the nerd says. And Henry Cavill, as hunky and delicious as he may be, is a humongous nerd, and I love that man. Listen to him. Oh, yeah, it's the same thing with Halo. Oh, dude, I heard Halo was a, an abortion of a show. I heard it was absolutely terrible. I didn't watch it. I just heard little things about it, and I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> like, I heard it was really bad. And, like, Master Chief reveals his face in, like, the first two, like, two episodes. That's so dumb. That's his whole MO, is that he never reveals his face. Uh, let's see. Sorry, I'm going to miss him here. Oh, sweet. A pet portrait. That's cool, man. I always love pet portraits. I like to try to do some of those. I'm not good at animals, though. So I need to practice on them. You're learning some Japanese. That's cool. That's cool, Derek. Um, I know I learned a, I learned a, quite a bit of Norwegian for a while. Um, I would be totally down to learn some J Japanese, though. I would love to learn some Japanese, some Mandarin, um, and some Spanish. I think this would be very useful. Um, but Norwegian, it was just like the easiest language to learn if you know English. So I learned it, I ain't going to say decently, but like I could go and ask for directions or introduce myself and ask for a, some food or some shit. That's about it. Actually, all I know, my, my thing, the thing I know the most is um, I would like a glass of wine, which is uh, That's all you need to know. <laughs> That's all you need to know in Norwegian. Or, which means I need a glass of wine. <laughs> Just a second, I'm going to blow dry this. Um, I don't know. I actually watched it the first half of the first season of Dragon Prince. I really liked Dragon Prince. It was really good when I watched it. I just, uh, I haven't, haven't finished it. I need to do that because I've, I've heard nothing but great things about it. And yeah, season four, I don't think it's came out yet. I want to say it's, I could be wrong at the end of this month. I could be totally wrong about that. Um, but yeah. The Witcher was hot fan self. Yes. Yes. Witcher was very hot. Henry Cavill. <laughs> He's a hunk and a half for sure. Okay, so I think I'm going to go back over the black areas with more black. really black with this. I'm going to go dark. 
What's up, Paulo? Good to see you, man. Oh, season four is out? Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, cool. Yeah, I definitely want to check it. I'll have to catch up on it, man, because I, I do love... Uh, the first season I saw, I loved it. My buddy, who doesn't like many things, he was like, uh, dude, he's like, it's the best, like, Dungeons & Dragons type show you can you can see. He's like, it's, it's really, really good. So I definitely want to check it out. And I can't believe, I, as much as I love Batman and drawing Batman, I don't do him very much. Like, I don't draw Batman very much. It's crazy. Like, I've drew him a few times, and I feel like that's what I draw more than anything, is Batman. I guess that's why I don't draw him so much, because I've drawn him so much in the past, I haven't done it in years. Like, I haven't really drew a Batman picture. Um, I do. A, I have a couple prints of Batman, but, like, nothing... That's about it. Like, honestly. Other than that, I haven't really, like, sketched around on Batman. Which I should. What's wrong with me? God, it's Batman. It's Batman, man. Oh, speaking of which, I was talking about this earlier. Um, uh, the Dave Chappelle hosted Saturday Night Live, and he brought back all the like he did a Game of Thrones uh, House of Dragons spoof, and dude, it's, it's so good. He brought back his Haters Club characters. Oh yes, he talks like this. He's like, oh, hate, hate, hate. Like he brought that character back. I can't remember his name. And then the, his, um, the other dude, um, I can't remember his, his actual name, but he had the Jerry Curl, um, either way, they all had blonde hair, it was, he brought back Rick James, it was so good, watch it, if you, if you like, uh, The Chappelle Show, you check it out. Oh, okay, I've heard Barbarian, okay, listen, um, my buddy kept telling me, he's like, oh, I hated the ending, I don't care, I don't, my, uh, the guy who said that also, he has a terrible taste in movies, I heard Barbarian was really good though, so I'm gonna check it out. For sure, for sure. Slippery sock jail. I like that. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate the, appreciate the compliment in Japanese. And learning a second language is just cool. You know, I think everyone should just, like, learn. I think it helps, like, expand your mind, too. Like, I was getting up every morning in, like, 20, late 2020, early 2021. Man, there was, like, a six-month period there where I just, I practiced Norwegian. Every, I put hours and hours and hours into it. But what sucks, though, is, like, it's really hard. I'll tell you something, Derek. If you're wanting to learn Japanese, find someone who speaks Japanese. Because it is nearly impossible to learn a language without knowing someone who speaks the language so you can speak to them. Because learning a language is very different from speaking a language in conversation with somebody. Like, think about how poorly most people speak English that you know. Like, that's how most people speak, though. Like, so that's how that's how most people speak, like, Japanese. They don't speak it exactly how you learn it in a textbook, you know. So you need to learn the lingo from a Japanese person or someone who speaks Japanese fluently. That being said, good luck trying to find someone that speaks Japanese around you. Actually, yeah, I mean, because there's no one around here, so not that I can think of. But uh, that's one of the reasons I, uh, where I live in Kentucky, there's a lot of Guatemalan people here. Um, people think they're Mexicans, but they're not. They're Guatemalan people. But they all speak Spanish. And, like, man, there's... I have a lot of people to speak with if I, if I started learning Spanish. Like, a lot of people here I could learn Spanish with. So, man, I'll tell you what. I think someone stuck in here and stole some of my grape juice. Because it feels like this has went really, really quick. Like, it's almost gone. This is crazy. I don't like it. And I've only been streaming for, like... An hour. What the hell? I use Duolingo too. Yeah, I did my Duolingo um, assignments every day for like six months, man. I had a, like a, it was like a hundred and forty something day streak. I was so happy, and then one day I got busy and forgot about it, and I lost my streak, and then I quit learning it. <laughs> I was so mad. Like they have a thing where you can pay to keep your streak going. Like oh, three dollars you can keep your streak and not miss it. And I almost paid it, but I, I think I was too late to do it. So I was like shit. So I just gave up. Okay, so, while this dries, I'm going to go ahead and start painting the skin tones on the face. Yeah, see, that's great. That's the thing. 
being married to someone who speaks that language would be perfect. Because you could speak to each other all the time like that. That would be incredible. Oh, that's incredible. So I think he's... Uh, Anna, I think your uncle has a fetish with just uh, learning languages from his wives. <laughs> I think that's all it really is. <laughs> Grandma, was that so he couldn't learn the language? Trying to clean up this blue a little bit here. I want to scan. I don't know next to any German. Um, I know Deutschland is German. Uh, Germany. Um, don't, don't shine. Is that thank you? Don't shine, don't shine. I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, I don't know like any German. Wow, that's crazy. I think it was really cool though. Like, I think this is for most people. I'm really good at pointing out what the language is. Like, I can tell the difference between like you know Chinese, Japanese, Korean. I could hear those languages and be like, oh, that's Korean. Oh, that's Japanese. Now I know there's different dialects of like Chinese. There's like several different dialects of Chinese, and I couldn't tell you the difference between those. But for the predominant language, I could tell you the difference. Which I think is nifty. Like I can hear Russian and then hear um, German. Tell you the difference. It's very distinct. Oh, Derek, you're a weeb. I get it. No, it's totally fine. Japanese women are beautiful, man. They're either beautiful or horrendously ugly. There's one of the two. I love Japanese women, man. I just Asian women in general. I just, they're, I like it. I know. I'm with you. I'm with you. Ain't no shame in that. Man, there's some, yeah, there's some smoking hot Japanese women. Sorry, you got me thinking about Japanese women. <laughs> I like Japanese women and big titty goth bitches. That's what is that is that what they're called on the internet? Big titty goth bitches. <laughs> Those are my two favorite kinds of women. Nunca shine, okay. Biden shine. Is it Biden shine or Biden shine? Is it bid bid or bide? Uh, let's see. Oh man, I might try that. That's cool. Cause I would love to learn Japanese, so I'll be right there with you, man. Learning that Japanese. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and paint this uh, the bat symbol on his chest. Busty Asian beauties. <laughs> That's funny. Just the term is good. Oh, shit. Oh, thank you. Or bitty. Okay, thank you. Thank you makes sense, so, because that sounds like thank you, you know? That's what I thought was super cool about Norwegian is that there's a lot of words you can associate with the English word of it. So, like, um, um, like chair is stool, like so a stool chair. Um, like um, uh, obviously fish is fisk. Um, wine is vin, so v i n is w i n e. Um, like see what's another one? Like oh yeah, table was board. So when I hear board, I think of a piece of board like a table. You know what I mean? Like it's tables are made out of boards. So it's cool, like, you can put stuff together like that. And then you have words like vegetable, which is grunsacker. And I'm like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Where did you get grunsacker from? It's insane. I love it, though, man. I, I really love learning other languages, mainly just because I like... I feel learning the language also teaches you something about the culture. Like, if you're aware. If you're very aware when you're learning the language. Like, learning how they speak also teaches you, like, slightly how they think. You know what I mean? Does that sound crazy? Probably does. But that's kind of how I feel. Germans love correcting you. I like that. I would understand that. But also, I think that even if you speak the language poorly, 
Like, if the attempt of trying to speak the language, if you've showed that you put in effort, I, I would imagine they would respect that. Like, I, I would... I don't know, like, when, when you speak the language, someone else's language, you have to do it properly, too. Like, that's what I always talk... I was talking to my girlfriend about this not too long ago. So, like, for example, you speaking Norwegian, and you're like, uh... Like, for example, if I'm going to say, like, um, Hello, my name is Jake. Um, I would say, I hate our Jake, he go lig Which is like, Hello, my name is Jake, how are you? So you say, he go lig o trefa. Tre, it's T-R. So it's tre, you say it like that. So if you don't roll that R, if I say, he go lig o trefa da, like, I think that's almost insulting. You know what I mean? Like, you're not, you're not saying it properly. So, I don't know. It's like, uh, I don't know. It's like some horrible, like, really Cajun ass redneck being like, who are you? Like, it almost sounds like you're making fun of them, if it makes any sense. I don't know. Does it sound like if, it, like if an Asian dude came over and was like, like a Chinese guy came from China and was speaking like, uh, like horribly, horribly, like offensive, like redneck Cajun. Like, hey man, how you doing? Like, it almost sounds like, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> that's what it makes me think of. Okay. All right, so we're going to go ahead and blow, that, blow dry this real quick, and I'm going to start on the yellow. Just a second. I realize why I didn't start on YouTube tonight. I didn't ask everyone. How's your weekend been? How you been? Had a good weekend? I hope you have. I've had a fantastic weekend, as usual. I'm alive and kicking, and that's about all you can ask for. So, I hope you all have had a great weekend. So, anything cool happened this weekend? I know, uh, Don, you said you had binged uh, Dragon Prince Season 4, and uh, a few other things I didn't recognize, but I, under I recognized Dragon Prince. Uh, so what, else, what, what did you all do? Did you watch anything good? I, like I said, been watching uh, Game of Thrones. Uh, and it's been so good. God, it's been so good. I hate that it's been so good because I'm just expecting me to, like, to get let down by it. You know? But, we'll see. I think this darker and yeah i'll tell you what's been cool like i've been really experimenting with like skin tones and stuff so like i do like well you know i do the yellow i do the red then i do the purple for the shadows but like it really just depends on who i'm drawing and like i might do like a lighter or darker yellow depending and i've noticed that makes the biggest difference in doing like if it's like a lighter like white skin tone then i do like this a paler yellow like a really pale yellow and it looks pretty cool. But I want him to be kind of tanned. It's me, I've always seen Bruce Wayne. He's kinda, you know, he's a billionaire socialite. So he's going to have a tan. He's going to look sharp and dapper. So he's going to look uh, very presentable. Even though I really do like the uh, Robert Pattinson take on Batman. I like his brooding, like borderline, like personality disorder going on. I think it's great. I was really happy with the Batman. I've actually watched it two or three times. It's really good. I'm really excited, and I really hope that uh, they, they incorporate the two universes of the Joker and the Batman together. I think it'd be super cool. Uh, what's my favorite Batman villain? Ooh, that's a tough one. Oh, that's a tough one. Okay, um, I don't want to be a basic bitch and say Joker, but I do love, love the Joker. Now, granted, it depends on the Joker. Um, like, I love my favorite portrayal of the Joker ever. There's my two favorites. Our Batman the Animated Series. I love that Joker. Even though he's a little he's a little too cartoonish. But the best portrayal of Joker, when I see Joker and I think of, oh, this is Joker, is the the, the killing joke by Alan Moore, uh, the comic. It is exactly as sadistic and crazy as Joker would be. You know what I mean? Um, I also really love the Heath Ledger Joker. I thought that was really good. Like he did the whole chaos thing and like the agent of chaos thing. Which was cool. But um but yeah, I would have to say if I had to pick it would be Alan Moore's The Killing Joke. That's my favorite Joker, like, by far. Because it's... He's goofy, but also incredibly insane. 
which is great. Yeah, I love Killer Croc. Harley Quinn's good, too. And it's funny. What I always I thought was really hilarious about Harley Quinn, like, so, like, especially after the Suicide Squad came out and everyone was dressing as her for Halloween and shit, and I'm like, oh, I love Harley Quinn. I want a relationship like her and Joker have. I was like, he beat her. Like, he smacked her around. She had Stockholm Syndrome because he kidnapped her and tortured her. What are you talking about? You don't want that. Yeah, I want a man like the Joker. He could be my king. I'm like, no, you're stupid. You don't know what Joker is. Like, that's the whole point, is that they're, it shows his sadistic, evil nature because their entire relationship was based on abuse. So. But yeah, I love Harley Quinn. I think she's a, she's a really dynamic character. Especially in the cartoon, man. They do a great job in the cartoon because he smacks her around a lot in the cartoon, which is crazy. That's how you know the cartoon was in the 90s. Because it showed the Joker smacking around a woman on a cartoon. I was like, God. But it, but see, that's the thing. It's not bad to show like a cartoon of a of a guy slapping around a girl if it's it's for his character development. It shows how bad of a person he is. You know, it isn't advocating for it. Like that's the thing, man. When when it comes to like people like saying you shouldn't say this and you can't say this or you shouldn't do this, I'm anti censorship in about every way. But if it if it if you miss the point, you know what I mean. Like sometimes people are just being dickheads and being offensive just to be that way then you know you can screw off that way but if you're trying to make an artistic point and you're trying to develop a character or something like that yeah you you have complete creative freedom to say or do whatever you want to do i think that's just my opinion main it's just like my opinion man i love poison ivy too see that's the thing man i love so many so many of the villains i love so many of them um Freeze was good too. Like they all have good origins. Like Doctor Freeze is really good. I don't know, man. Like okay, so it depends on what I think Batman villains. So specifically, is it just solely Batman villains? Because technically, like Batman fought Apocalypse. You know what I mean? Like so, it really just depends on who you're talking about. Or I'm sorry, Apocalypse. I'm stupid. Dark Side. I'm an idiot. Sorry, sorry. Wrong, wrong universe. I've had almost a bottle of wine. Grape juice. Not Apocalypse, Dark Side. Wrong company. Hold on, just a second. Okay. Um, any in general. What's up, Jude? Glad you made it, man. Yes, rest in peace, Kevin Conroy. Or ma'am, I'm sorry. Man is an all-encompassing term, so is dude. We've heard this before. If I say man or dude, that means my really good friend. So I'm glad you made it. I appreciate that. I started this stream on Twitch, and Twitch is awful. I feel weird, and I don't like streaming there. It's funny, too. It may be like a... Um, manifest destiny type thing because like I was I was saying beforehand I was like man I got a bad feeling about this I got a bad feeling about streaming on Twitch I don't know how you're gonna get any views I don't like it so maybe I just kind of manifested the, the poor the poor experience but you know what either way we're back on YouTube and that's all that matters that's where it's where I feel like I'm home you know I've been doing this for too long to to leave it and I'm hoping I should have for anyone who cares or gives a shit I should have The Stranger Part 2 done this week. Um, I have a different short story that's not necessarily scary. Um, it's actually not scary at all, but it's very, it's kind of funny. <laughs> it's really ridiculous. I will just tell you, I'll, I'll start it out by saying uh, the story starts by a gopher trying to sneak into an antique store. And the story is called The Gopher. So that's all I'm going to say. I should have played Lamb. Oh my god, is he going off drone? Oh no. Ugh. Hold on. Drone's a dude I'm playing in uh in 
fantasy tonight, and oh god, it's such a close game. God, he's got 35 points. Are you kidding me? <sighs> CD Lamb is uh, killing it for me. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, uh, he's having a career high night, but it was a bad matchup. He shouldn't have scored that many points against the, the Packers. Ah. Oh, I will. That's what I got it right here. Mop brush is right here by, by my side. Ah, it sucks. I will. I promise. I'm using my mop brush right here, right here, right here. Got it. I got it. I'm going to. I'm just cleaning this up right now. See, I'm just taking this because the bristle is a little bit more firm, and I'm cleaning her up. God. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna win. Sorry. Check this out. It's a damn good game, though, man. I was very. I mean, I still have uh, McLaurin, and I know he's. He, there's a couple games where he's kind of went off. So if he goes, if he goes crazy and gets me about 18, 20 points, it might be okay. But I don't know, dude. I think you got too much firepower left. It's fourth quarter. I don't know, man. I have a feeling that the Ra that the Raiders are going to be throwing it a little bit more because you guys are because uh, it's twenty to twenty five, so they got to get a touchdown, and I don't think they're going to be running it a ton. They wouldn't to run that clock out. I don't expect Jacobs to get much more points, and uh, God, if Lazar doesn't get a touchdown, I might be okay. Oh God, you got Sanders still too? I'm done for. Jesus Christ, <laughs> I'm done for. <laughs> it's a good game though. I scored like one hundred forty seven points. I'm still going to lose. That's awesome. It could still go either way, but man, like just have just I, I think it's a great game. I don't mind losing games when it's like close like that, you know. When I score like ninety points and then I get beat by one hundred and sixty, I'm like, well, this is stupid. But if I'm gonna lose just by a couple points, I don't mind that. As long as I put up a fight, you know, that's all I care about. Okay, so I'm gonna go with the red. I think Carmine Red's what we need to go with, right? Yeah, I think it's a Carmine Red. Yeah, yeah, we're cool. Okay. Is it over? Over? Okay, because I saw like it had a, it had a few minutes. I thought I had like two minutes left in the fourth quarter. The the app might not have updated too. I was just looking at the app. Okay, well, yeah, I think I think there's still a chance I could win, but it's very very unlikely. I think at this point, um, but there's a chance. Like I've had I've overcome worse odds. Let's put it that way, but. It's going to be rough. It's going to be tough to do it for sure. I know, it's on my desk, and it's on here, but it's fun. <laughs> it's funny. Hey, I'm going to be using my mop brush, Don, so there's at least that much, you know. I'm getting there. Eventually, I will uh, get to a point where you're not screaming, but I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting better. I got a mop brush. So, you should draw... Uh, what's the game? B A T I M. Is that is that a is that an acronym for something? Well, thanks, Jerome. I appreciate it, man. Nice painting. It's not done yet. Hopefully, it'll look a little better. I'm done. It's getting there. Got to get all my little details in there. Oh, um, oh, I see. 
Oh, that's cool. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. That'll be the next Doom prompt. I didn't post one this week. I just, I don't know. I just was really behind on everything. And also, I'm terrible at having a YouTube, so. <laughs> I never once said I was good at YouTube, so I've never, ever once claimed that, so. Okay, I'm going to do a really dark red for the background. And then I'm going to splash it with some, like, lighter red. So we'll see how this works. So we're going to, I'm going to wet it first. Not much, just a little bit. And I'm going to over wet it. Oh, well, I don't. Oh, that was my finger. I was like, where did that red come from? <laughs> it was on my finger. Jeez. Okay, so that's Carmine. So it shouldn't be that pinkish, right? That's fine. We'll figure this out. Hold on, guys. We got this. I've noticed the uh, the more the sloppier I am with watercolors, the more I enjoy it. And like, I swear, I think it turns out better when I'm sloppy with it. Then when I try to be real nice and clean, you get those big, big natural mess up strokes. I like it. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to get this working here. I feel this is too pink. What is going on here? Nah, that's a little better. Okay. I don't know why. Like, I have, like, a compulsion to whistle constantly. And I'm sorry. I can't help myself. I'm sure that's great to hear on a microphone, but, uh... I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> okay. There we go. Get more of that crimson-y looking red. That's what I was going for. Do a little bit of, uh... I don't know what's that orange or... That orangey color right there. Oh, shit. That orange color. I don't know. It came in the palette. Um, I don't know color names. I'm really bad. I'm terrible at art. I really am. Like, I may be able to paint or draw something that's okay every now and then, but as for, like, knowledge, art knowledge, I am an absolute idiot. I don't know shit about this. I cannot stress that enough. Do not look for me for guidance. As Michael Jordan said, I am no role model. Can't believe people got mad at Michael Jordan for that. I ain't a role model. Yeah, well, I mean, I guess because he had Nike deals and everything, but whatever. So I'm trying to make this look like a like a Gotham night sky, which is cool because a lot of the Gotham night skies are red, which I thought was super cool, juxtaposed with that indigo of Batman's suit and like the gray. Um, so I'm gonna if this is still good and wet, I'm gonna go ahead and try to dab some clouds in there. That's my goal. I'm still not even near done on the body. I don't know why I started the background. But it's what I did. I don't have a method either. It's always different. Can I do anything? Yeah, I figured people would like that drum if I whistle directly into the mic. <laughs> I at least try to apologize for it, you know? <laughs> so there's my clouds I'm dabbing in. Oh, I actually got a little sponge here. We'll use a sponge. This sponge sucks. I'll go back to the paper towel. That's that's where it's at. Okay, give me just a second. I'm going to mute the mic and blow dry this. Don, my rinse jar is 
<laughs> right here. I mean, look, it's so... I got one jar for everything. The water is barely black. It's fine, Don. It's fine. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. If you have a stroke because of me, I'll feel kind of bad. But <laughs> you can't expect me to do anything that's proper. I can't do that. I'm from Kentucky. I paint like the Tasmanian devil, dude. I can't. Just be happy that my brain has allowed me to sit down with the constant, you know, holes of ADHD in it and let me paint, you know. So just be happy for that. So let's do my purple tones on his face here. Tissue life has been immersing. <laughs> Dab it just a little bit there. Now I'm going to lighten this up some. I'm going to take my water and, you know, wet it real good and then uh, dab it off. Let's see, let's go with a little bit more purple. I don't think it's purple enough. We need more purple. So right now it just kind of looks dirty. I notice I've kind of liked that better, just kind of like really oversaturating it and then dabbing it off. I think it gives me a better color, it seems like. So I'm taking this and then going. Nope, that did not work. I do appreciate it, Cynthia, how you type about like I do. Like you get about halfway through a word, you misspell it, then you accidentally hit send. That's it's me every time. I'm so bad. I'm the worst person ever in a group chat. Because like I try to type really fast and then I, I misspell words and send it. So <laughs> I feel your pain. I really do. Okay. That's a little better. There we go. I'll let that dry and I'm going to do another layer of it. He does look somewhat jaundiced. He ain't done. Give me a second. I put a yellow base. I gotta put more purple or more red on him. I'm gonna do his purple, uh, his purple shadows, and then I'm going to uh, do red over that. Like I said, it's always an experimentation with uh, with watercolors for me. I still don't know what the hell I'm doing, so it's always super fun. So we're gonna go ahead and let this dry. So it's a good level, I think, what I need. Okay, give me just a second. I'm going to blow dry this. Uh, clearly, Troy, you don't know anything about Batman. It's called bat dialysis, much like the bat bomb or the... Was it the, the anti-shark bat spray? Was that what it was? <laughs> the anti-shark bat spray. Oh, it's ridiculous. Oh, yeah. I am, I'm always the imposter. What are you talking about? Always. All right, let's see here. Yeah, he does look somewhat jaundiced, I know. And I know he needs dialysis, <laughs> but he'll get better. I'm, I'm going to add some tones, some uh, some red to his skin. Just a minute. Bring it all together, man. Okay, 
there's that part we're gonna let it dry and then I'm gonna add some highlights and he will look much less yellow Just give me a second I don't know what hematomysis is. Um, I'm assuming that's something to do with blood. And that's all I know about. That's on Netflix, I think, Troy. I'm pretty sure it's a Netflix original. I could be wrong about that. But me think so. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add a second coat to this. And I meant to do that, and I totally did not. Puking blood. Oh, that's cool. That's pretty metal. Puking blood from the lacerated sky. <laughs> Just makes me think of brain and blood. Brain and blood from the lacerated sky. Creating my destruction. Now I shall rain in blood. Man, I really wish I could listen to music while on stream. That would be so good. That's the only thing I complain about about YouTube is their copyright stuff. But I mean, I get it, I guess, but it just, come on now, we're just, I ain't making money off streaming your music. Like, if my channel was solely devoted to just streaming music and having people listen to it making money off of it, I get it. But if I'm drawing and it's just in the background, come on, guy. Come on, guy. Come on. I need some metal. I could probably wear earplugs, like, earbuds or something. Because, I mean, I don't need to hear to, like, respond to you guys. Man, we could do that. Like having, a, having an immersive experience. You could turn on the music I'm listening to. Listen to the same tunes I'm listening to. That'd be kind of cool. That's what me and my buddy uh, Caleb, whenever we would play uh, Roll20 uh, during the pandemic and stuff, like I would tell him what playlist I'm listening to and he would he would log on and like listen to the same playlist. So we'd be listening to the same music while we were playing. It was pretty cool. Sorry, I'm whistling again. Blame Danny Elfman, man. I've got I've had the Batman animated series theme stuck in my head forever. Yeah, adding that second layer of black really helped that. It helped that splotchiness on the blue. That was much better. Much better, much better. There we go. Alright, so. Holy uh what is that? Episcopal heresy <laughs> All right, so here's what we're going to do. Check it out. Check it. All right. We're going to dab this right here's cheekbone right here with some water. We'll scrub it in real good. Let it soak. Dab it off. Not light enough. Because I did put like three or four layers on there. So we're going to dab it real good. Get it nice and soaked. The paper's starting to shred, which is funny because that's never actually happened with this paper before. But that immediately takes out some of that yellow. A lot of that yellow. I think it might look more yellow on the screen, too, than it does on the page. It doesn't look as yellow on the page, I promise. I love doing the little highlights like that. I think that's super cool. So I'm going to do a little one here, a little one here. You know, so his chin is very pronounced. So i got the dimple there in the middle, and i got the highlights on the peaks. Yeah. Bruce Banner, or Bruce Banner. Bruce Wayne's gonna have a nice big dimple chin. See, like this. That's it's a very refined chin, a big dimple chin, I think. Yeah, I'm she Troy. That's exactly what I was going for. I was going for a more Neil Adams. That was my favorite depiction of Batman. I think Neil Adams had the best looking Batman. When I think Batman, I think the the navy blue and black and gray suit. Like even though I did blue here and it should have been gray, but I just think you know I just think it looks cool. I'm gonna go a little bit more here because I don't think this. Is refined enough. Yeah, so so color scheme wise, it's definitely Neil Adams. <laughs> What's up, Christian? I'm glad you made it, man. I will say I had you in my thoughts because I started this this stream on Twitch, and I was very 
uh, disappointed by Twitch because it was, uh, well, stupid and uncomfortable. So, no more of that. We're sticking with YouTube. <laughs> Give me just a second. Okay. See, Paulo, I unmuted it. You can't sit there and yell at me. I did good. I haven't, un I haven't not unmuted it in a while. So, that's where he bums you out. Too bad, buddy. Alright, so, I'm going to do the same thing here. Do my highlights in there. I love, just a little, it's just very subtle and I love it. It just brings up just enough of the color to get I had a little subtle highlight there and it blends out really well too. So I love it, man. So it's so cool. Love watercolor. I never thought I would love watercolors as much. It's my favorite way to like paint. See, I think you actually have to have Drome, I think you have to have two computers do that because the program I run, um, you can only stream one at a time. Like I've tried to set it up. Um, but, uh, like, if I had a better computer, maybe I could have two instances going at the same time, but, like, I don't have, I don't think I have a good enough computer for that. Um, I haven't tried it. I'll, I'll try it next time. I'll see if I can set them both up and just stream both at the same time, because I've tried it. Well, the thing is, though, I think you have to have two computers, because not only do you have to have the other program running, but, like, I only have two cameras. So I would imagine, and if one camera is being used for one program, I can't use it for another program. Maybe I can. Not that I'm aware of, though. So I might have to try that. Like, if I could get it working for both, that'd be great. I would just check on YouTube and not not Twitch. If you want to check out on Twitch, that's fine. But, you know what I mean? Like, I don't... I don't know. Twitch was weird. Well, I don't know if you heard it earlier, Jerome. I was saying, uh... I, I logged onto Twitch, and every video, the first videos I saw, it was like, a, it was like five or six Thor Ragnarok video. Or not Thor. God, why do I keep saying that? God of War Ragnarok videos, and I was like, well, I haven't played the first one, and I don't want to ruin, because I'm I, that's the next game on my list to play. And then there was one video of a chick just sleeping. She was just, she had been sleeping for seven hours. She had 7,000 people watching her sleep. And it's like, it wasn't even, like, sexy, you know what I mean? Like, it was just a chick in, like, pajamas and, like, a hoodie covered up sleeping. It was weird. Like, it's so weird that people watch that shit. It's crazy to me. I don't know, it's insane. People are weird. But you know what? If I could have 7,000 people watching me sleep, I'd be fine with that. You'd be hearing lots of farts, but... <laughs> I need to try it, honestly. If, like, if I can get... If I can somehow... I'll look into it this week. Because if I could somehow just stream both, that would be great. But I just... I prefer YouTube so much more. Like, I know it so much better, and like... I just... I don't know. I just feel that it's a... It's better for your, uh... Like, your viewership... Because, like, if you actually, like, I don't know how you would even, I don't know, man. Because everything it, it, it suggests on Twitch has, like, thousands of views. Like, you're never going to get your stuff suggested if you don't have a bunch of views. And how do you, I don't understand it. Unless you already have a following, I don't know how you get a, a, a better, like, following on Twitch. It's pretty, uh, pretty baffling to me. Alright, that's the end of my grape juice. Bummer. It's all right. I got another bottle, but no more than not. One hundred percent agree, Christian. Watching people is creepy. That's just that's the truest statement uttered tonight. Okay, so let's go. Okay, I'm gonna do my outlines, um, but I'm still gonna do um, uh, still gonna do uh, color pencil and stuff on this. So. I think I'm going to go with a big old humongously fat outline. I'm really feeling that. I know, 7,000 people watch one sleep. Yeah, but that's funny, dude. Like, every, like I've heard it so split. Like, man, I've heard people being like, oh, it's going to be really big on Twitch. And then a lot of people was like, oh, yeah, Twitch is dying. So I don't know. Um, I will say that, like, I know that YouTube's whole plan is to encompass everything that every other platform has. So you can post your videos, which is cool. You got your community page, which is essentially like your posts or your wall or whatever. Then you have your shorts, which is like your uh, TikToks. And then you have your live streams, which is Twitch. 
I just like I just like YouTube the most, you know. And YouTube just has so many people. There's like so many billions of views every day on YouTube. I've always just liked YouTube. Granted, it's a corporate monster that's going to try to end humanity, much like Google and Amazon and everything else. But you know what? I'm along for the ride. Whatever. I'm here for a good time, not a long one. Big fat outlines. That's what does it. That's what gets my Jimmy's in a wrestle. Oh yeah, dude, beating up a side character in a video game. Oh, that's uh, that's superb. That's super excellent. That's my favorite thing about Skyrim. I love having just a uh, having a like a like a follower just get the absolute shit beat out of him while I'm just like, oh, I'm gonna wait back here and let you fight all those bandits. <laughs> Lydia, man, she's my champ. And I'll just sit with my. I'm always a stealth archer. Who isn't? I will say that I promise you, I've tried several times to not be a stealth archer, but it never works out. I'm always a stealth archer. Never fails. I don't know. I'm not loving this. Like, I feel like it's missing stuff. Let me. I'm gonna do more red on the background. I think, like around him. Make it a bit darker red here. I'm not loving it, but also, I can't expect too much because you know, I'm knee deep in grape juice right now, so. Dude, Stealth Archer is the most fun to play. It always is. Oh, yeah. Dude, the first time I ever played uh, Grand Theft Auto, um, I remember it I was, It was my freshman year of high school, and Grand Theft Auto 3 had just came out. And, like, we had a band trip the next day. I was in jazz band, and then we had a band trip the next day. So I was going to be gone all day, and I begged my parents to get it for me. I finally, like, they never got me video games. But, like, I finally begged and begged them. I was like, please, it'll count for my birthday and my Christmas. Please just give me this video game. And uh, they went and got it for me, man. And it was like, I stayed up till, like, 4 in the morning playing Grand Theft Auto 3. And it was the most life-changing experience of ever. It was so good. Oh, it was so good. I'm just going to do this whole thing like this. I'm going to do layers of red. I need more red. And I'll do some more clouds. Don't you worry. Don't you worry your pretty little heads. In just a second, I'll check the chat in just a moment. I'm going to do this before it dries. So it dries, it leaves, leaves a whole bunch of lines and shit. All right, we're good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and dab this some. Storm clouds, man. That's what you gotta. That's what you gotta get in there. Yeah, it looks cool. I like it. Little textures like that. That's why I love watercolors. You can do so so much cool stuff with it. Uh, let me see if I missed a uh, chat here. Sorry, sorry, sorry. If there's a lot of chat going on, so if I've missed some, I apologize. Just keep posting, it and I will eventually see it. John, I've missed a lot of your stuff too. What did you say? I was doing blood blood transfusion at 2 a.m. Um, it was entire. Oh, okay. So that, is that what you meant when you said like vomiting blood and stuff? Um, cause that's what happened to my uncle, that's how he died. He was really, uh, he was very, he was a humongous alcoholic. He was probably in his early 50s when he died. Gotham is stormy, always. Instant clouds, I love it. Yeah, I like having those clouds pop up. Now, let me blow dry this real quick. Uh, and I'll tell you about my dead uncle. <laughs> Thank you.
Okay. Um. Bat my what? Just needs bat my oh. <laughs> Peeking out of the corner. Um. Let's see here. I'm. I've still missed some stuff. Um. Lots of angry children shooting me daggers. <laughs> Death Archer's great, yeah. Just saying a side character in a battle, getting beat up, eating popcorn, drinking. Yeah, man. I love that. Makes it easier on me. Watching old people in the hospital creepy. Oh, dude, that's one thing that, like, yeah, without their dentures, their mouths all sunken in and stuff. That's like, there's there's images in my mind that will never leave. Like my grandpa looking at him in the hospice, dying. Um, looking at uh, my great aunt Wilma in the hospital, dying. Um, just, I don't know, looking at people dying is weird, dude. It's just, because they're not there anymore. You know, they get to that point where they're just not there anymore. And, like, my grandma was the worst one. That, she, my grandma, like, my grandma fucked me up the most. Because, like, man, I love my grandma. And I will say, for the record, my grandma was, like, a mean old bitch. Like, she was a mean old lady. She adored me. And I loved her. She was always great to me. She was always awesome. She was the sweetest person in the world to me. Because I was the only boy, like, our only grandson... And, like, that's all she ever wanted was a grandson. Which was unfair to, like, granddaughters. But, you know, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> but, like, so she loved me. So she was always the best to me. Like, all the time, just do everything I wanted. And it was great. I didn't, like, you know, obviously I... I took that for granted as a kid. I didn't know any better. But, man, there's... She had Alzheimer's real bad. And then... not. To, I'm not trying to bring the stream down, by the way. I'm just... I'm now reminiscing. And you know how these streams go. I just babble on about stuff. I'm, I'm a bottle of wine deep. It's fine. But I remember she was, um, when she started getting real bad, she, she drove like, she started getting, her dementia really started kicking in. Her, her, her daughter had died and then her husband died. So my aunt and my grandpa died. And then, so she was just left with her other daughter in that, in her house. And she was miserable and I felt so bad. I, I couldn't just like go live, you know what I mean? Like she lived in Ohio and I was down here and I felt so bad for her because I was like, you know, 19 years old, 18, 19 years old, what the hell was I going to do? And like, um, so she like just got in her car one day and just drove to Kentucky from Ohio. And I thought she was trying to come down here. That was the whole point, but she almost made it. She got to London instead of, uh, where I am. Um, but she, uh, like the cops actually had to call. They're like, Hey, this lady says she's your, your mother. You know, I thought she called my mom. So we had to go and pick her up and then bring her back to our house. And then she stayed there for quite a while. And then she came and then we eventually took her back to Ohio. And then, uh, she, ma she came down here, she got really bad. And then she, my mom brought her down back to her house and she kept her there until she died. Um, she had like a nurse, like a, like a hospital bed and stuff in the living room and stuff where she was. But man, like she always knew who I was. And I know this sounds stupid. I'm going to draw while I do this because this, uh, it's kind of a long story. Um, but like, she always knew who I was and she loved me and like, I would be, she would be beating the hell out of mom too. Like, she'd be mean to mom and pinch her and hit her and stuff. Cause you know, she's, you know, she had Alzheimer's and stuff. But, um, I was the last person like she remembered, you know? And, um, I remember I went in there one day. And, uh, like, I was trying to help her up so mom could change her diaper or whatever. And, like, she started, like, pinching me. And I was just like, man, that broke my heart. Like, it made me so sad because, like, that was the point I was like, she's gone. Like, she didn't remember who I was anymore. And that made me super sad. Um, I don't even know what the point of the story is. I just started rambling on about it. Oh, yeah. So, but there was, when she, when she died, like, mom had called me. She's like, hey, I don't think she's going to live much longer. You need to get out of here. So, I drove out to mom and dad's house. And we all basically just stood around her, like, you know, watching her, watching her die. Like, I literally watched her draw her last, last breath, and that's that's messed up to me. Like, I did, like, Dawn and, and Absinthe and stuff, I know you guys have done that several times, and that's been your job, which is crazy. Like, that one time, like, traumatized me. I couldn't imagine doing it all the time. So, kudos to you guys. But, like, maybe it also might be different if it wasn't my grandma, you know? But watching that happen to my grandma, like... Because I, I think she had a heart attack. Because she started turning real purple and stuff. So I think she ended up like having a heart attack. Um, 
it was it was rough man it was really rough but at the same time I'm also not glad but um I don't know I appreciate the experience I don't know it made me appreciate other things more having that kind of experience of her like dying in front of me it's weird I know it's weird to say but like I witnessed pretty much the same thing with my grandpa man he was in hospice he had leukemia real bad and I don't know. I'm being all sad. I'm going to read this chat now. White Outline's coming, I promise. Don't you worry about that. And a drawing if I don't do a White Outline. No, I'm going to be sorry. That's life, man. Don't worry about that. Okay, Sophical Pharisees. Okay. Aw. Man, you all are making me sad. I didn't mean to bring the stream down. I'm sorry. <laughs> I brought it down for everyone. I apologize. But it's just, uh, it makes me sad, man. Like, it's death is a weird, like, it's weird too because, like, death sucks, but at the same time, it's very fascinating. Just, like, to cease to exist is a, is a crazy thing. Like, and that's the best way I've always heard to explain it is, like, dying is just, like, before you were born, you know? It's the fear of dying, is that everyone? I think it's what Christian. You were saying that, I believe. You were saying you're not afraid of dying. Your your fear is of the process of dying, which I agree. It's me too. Like being dead, I don't care about. Dying is what I what sucks. So I'm with you on that, man. But I will say I've gotten uh, I've I've become much more. Uh, I don't know, like much more resistant to the fear of dying. The the older I've gotten. Um, by all means, I'm still, I'm still very afraid of dying, but much less than I was, you know? I'm like, dude, I can't tell you how much I would just, like, lay in bed and just, like, contemplate mortality. It sucked. Um, it was just awful, man. I did that so much, and, I don't know, it was awful. But, uh, you know, I've kind of gotten over that. It took, like... A psychiatrist of medication, but I got over it. And I finally feel like a normal person again. I'm a normal boy! <laughs> as, as Pinocchio would say if he were to get on medication. <laughs> I'm a normal boy. Actually, I'm just sounding like the gingerbread man from Shrek. What the hell am I doing? Okay. Uh, the color pencil's looking cool. I'm liking it. They're adding some more pizzazz to it. We're gonna go... I'm gonna do a little bit up here, actually. Just a little bit. Man, just those color pencils over, like, black looks so good. This is actually not even a, uh... Uh... Prismacolor. This is one of those Holbein... Is it Holbein? Am I saying that right? Or is it Holbein? Whole bean. I don't know. I never, I never knew how to say that right. That's the one thing people never corrected me on constantly because they don't even know how to say it. Okay, so now let's go with some. I got some pinkish flesh tones right here. Also, whole bean, cherry blossom. We're gonna, we're gonna hit some highlights with that. Yeah, that looks good. I already like that. Oh, and you live in the Deep South where... Yeah, yeah, racism's not dead. Oh, don't worry. It doesn't take the Deep South for racism to not be dead. I live in Kentucky. That was a technically a neutral state, so that's just South. That's not the Deep South. And there are a ton, a shit ton of racist people here. So, don't you worry about that. Just to let you know, 80% um, of my county voted for Trump. 70% of my state did. 80% of my county voted for Trump. Now, I'm not saying that every Trump supporter is a racist, but every racist is a Trump supporter. You know what I mean? Like, every racist, if they were going to vote for a political party, is a Trump supporter. End of story. I don't care what you say. Because he, he just he just facilitated racism with his just bullshit, just constant shit spewing from his mouth. He facilitated, facilitated racists to be racist, you know? And he honestly, he made it to where it was like it was okay. 
I don't really like that. I wish you wouldn't have done that. That's fine, whatever. But yeah. So don't you worry. There's racism all over this country. See, look, he doesn't look as jaundiced now as he did. Well, that's awesome, man. That's super cool, Derek. It's whole bean, yeah. In Kentucky, it's whole bean. I like these whole beans and the cornbread. <laughs> hey, I do love soup beans and cornbread, though. Don't you even, don't you even front about that. I ain't even gonna front about that. Oh, yeah, Christian. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean? I say that all the time, too. <laughs> you know what I mean? Now, here's the thing, though, too. Like, I have, I use a ton of redneck idioms. Like, a lot of sayings and stuff I use and I love and I cherish those. But, like, I don't like the racism that goes on. <laughs> that's, that's where I draw the line. I don't like the, the hatred and the bigotry and the racism that goes along with being, uh, the, you know, I just don't, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Like, there's all kinds of cool, like, little southern things that I do appreciate and I love, but so much of it's rooted in ignorance, man. And I ain't about that life, you know. Go put our white outline on here. Well, thank you, and I appreciate that. He looks less jaundiced. See, I told you he would. He would look healthier. He's Batman. He is at peak physical condition. He's got to be. Even though his mental health is pretty much shit all the time. <laughs> Do a thicker white outline. I don't know, what do you think? Thicker white outline or no thicker white outline? Because I got a thicker white outline, I can do the uh, the Presto Pentail Jumbo Correction Pin. Their Pentail Presto Correction Jumbo Pin. <laughs> nah, I think it looks alright. I think once I got it done. Okay, so we're going to go, let's add our white highlights. Sorry if you guys can't see this. I'm trying to keep it on camera here. Not thicker. Okay, good. I was I'm feeling the same way, Teresa. We're on the same wavelength. Okay, cool. The subtlety. Good, good, good. And I think the the, uh, the white thin light, white line juxtaposed with the thick black line, I think, makes it better, too. So, yeah. We're all on the same page. That's good. Okay. I just thought about it, you know. Sometimes these get clogged up. That's the only bad thing about using these on watercolors and color pencils. Sometimes they get clogged. Yeah, he's he's a very bad example of sanity. He's a very good example example of insanity because he's an insane person. He dresses like a bat and be, beats up criminals. That's pretty insane. For some weird misplaced sense of justice that uh, I don't know. It's not necessarily misplaced. It's just that like 
the way it derived, him seeing his parents get killed, and he's like, well, I'm going to stop all crime because my parents got killed by a criminal. Like, I mean, I get that and all, but I don't know. It's wild. It's cool, though. I love it. I love Batman. He's my favorite superhero. Him, Thor, and Silver Surfer, I think, are my favorites. And I can't even tell you why Silver Surfer has been one of my favorites for so long. I've just always loved him. I don't know why. Like, I, I, I mean, I've read quite a few of his stories and stuff, and I just... I just love Silver Surfer. I love him as a character, too. It's funny because even before I knew who Jack Kirby was, I was really drawn to a lot of his characters. Like, all right, here we go. Um, I'm gonna throw a lightning bolt in here with my with my Pentel Presto pen. If you think it's a terrible idea, let me know before I find it. Unless I don't find it, and I won't do it, so it doesn't matter. Okay, I got it. Well, I'll tell you what, you know what helped me with what? Um, more than anything, draw lightly with them. The harder you push, the less they work. So you just scribble real good, you know, get them unclogged, and just lightly draw your lines. Very lightly touch the page. Because when the harder you push, the more shit they pick up off the page. Like they'll pick up fibers from the page and the color pigments. So the lighter you push, the better they, the better they go. So sorry, that wasn't that wasn't hardly a sentence. I apologize, but uh, why? What can I say? Joint streaming feature. What is that? Oh, is that the thing where you yeah stream with two people? I've heard about that. I'm pretty stoked about that. That'd be super cool, man. I'm all about streaming with someone else. Okay, so I'm gonna do some lightning bolts. Okay, should I? Should I do lightning bolts? Yes or no? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do it. Maybe we're gonna do it. We're not gonna do it. I kind of like how he is right now. Do it. Oh, we're not doing lightning bolts. Here's what we're doing. Check this out. All right, you ready? I'm gonna I'm gonna screw this picture up real bad, real quick. All right, ready? See, that's that one, like, inebriated decision I make that's probably going to mess it all up, but. Now, since we kind of got our raindrops in there. Oh, yeah. Um, this right here, Epsinthi. Um, I just used it earlier. I was finishing up a picture. Uh, they, um, the Uniball Signo has a silver one, and I will tell you, it works a thousand times better than the white one. I wish, I wish, 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 wish that the white one worked as good as the silver one does. Man, this look at that. I'm not even trying. It'll draw over fucking friggin' everything. Sorry. It's great. Like, this pen works so good. Granted, it's it's still kind of new and I haven't used it a whole lot. But I've never had an issue with the silver ones. Because I got a pack of silver and gold ones, and both of them work great. I love them both. Okay, so now we're going to go, because we did the rain, we're going to go and uh, get this pen drawn again, because that's what happens. And we're going to draw, like, water drops coming off Batman's face. Cause he's wet in the rain, mad because his parents are dead. Er, I'm angry. I'm a psycho. <laughs> Cause he's a maniac. Throw some like little water droplets are coming off of him, splashing, hitting him. Nope, won't be hitting there. 
That's part of his hollow out. What am I doing? This is totally a Jim Lee thing I stole. And I, I can't do it near as good as he did. Man, that's the thing. Like, if you ever want to watch something awesome, watch Jim Lee stream. If you ever ever watched any of the Jim Lee stream, Jim Lee's stream, boy, he's a, a master in every sense of the word when it comes to comic book art. Oh, don't worry. I'm going to do something extra. I'm going to go real extra with this piece, okay? Don't worry. I'm going to go... Uh, I'll make sure I didn't miss anything. Molotov. I've never tried the Molotov Liquid Chrome. I need to try that. Yeah, and I agree with you. Silver and gold are excellent. Um, I'm going to try something real crazy, okay? So I may, once again, may ruin it. But we'll see. And I also like the raindrops kind of look like tears coming out of his eyes. That's kind of cool. Because he's a sad boy. If nothing else, I mean, Batman is the most emo of superheroes, right? I mean, he's up there with, I mean, if you consider Sandman a superhero, he's pretty emo. Or death, I should say. Or dream. I can't even remember. I've only read the first comic. Dream? Dream. I'm stupid. What's wrong with me? What's wrong with my brain? Oh, I know what's wrong with my brain. It's very, very easy to point out. This. Well, that's it. That's the entirety of it. It's gone. What a devastating day. All right. Oh, Zen the Intergalactic Ninja? I don't even know who that is. That's aw that sounds awesome. I'll order me one. The Molotov Liquid Chrome Pin. I'll have to check that out. Now, I think I had a Molotov brush, a white brush pin, I think. Um, I wasn't a fan of it, though. It did not work well. But granted, I'm, I'm really bad for using something and being like, oh, this is terrible. Just because I didn't know how to use it. Probably wasn't the best judge of uh, subscription boxes. So, okay, check this out. We're going to cover this right here. About like this. So there's a reason I always keep a uh, a gift card. Well, I say that, now I can't find it. I have a gift card. I always leave a gift card later. Here it is, my Lowe's card. So check it out. If you don't know this little trick, you should. I, you guys are all pretty experienced. I'd say you know this. So you go extra amounts of white. And you flick it. Also a Jim Lee trick. Make it all nice and messy. Now, the way I was visioning it in my head, I probably should have done it. No, I guess so. this is the right direction. Because when it hits, it splashes upward. So, that's kind of what I was going for. Yeah, and I kind of want to cover the red, make sure it didn't hit the red or his face. And his face can be hit a little bit, I guess. So, we'll do uh, a little bit more. I also don't want the rain to be mistaken for uh, semen. That would be bad. <laughs> I'm all right with it. I'm all right with that. Okay, so I'm going to pause this or mute this for a second. And I've learned I'm going to heat this up. I'm going to heat it up and try to peel this tape off without ripping this because it's going back in my sketchbook. And I'll let you guys watch me put it back in my sketchbook, which is the best part. Give me just a second.
Yeah, that turned out nice and clean. It barely ripped. I did good. Okay, so here is my new... Look at that. It's my new watercolor sketchbook. There's the Stranger painting. There's my uh, my Doomed Tober piece from last week. And here comes the Batman piece. Going back in here. Dude, I'm telling you. The Grumbacher uh, notepads. And, like, the only reason I know what they are is because uh, my buddy Jerome... He had, uh, the guy was on uh, channel, if he still is, but he was on here earlier. He had a sketchbook of one, and I was like, well, that's pretty cool. Let me go check out Walmart and see what kind of watercolor paper they had. Because I, I kind of forgot that they had good art supplies. And then I went there, and then the brand he had, the Grumbacher, um, had this sketchbook, or this watercolor sketchbook. And I was like, holy shit. <laughs> it's my favorite sketchbook. I love this sketchbook. It's a good little addition, I think. Right? Dude, you are killing it, Weblot. God. Moist Batman. Yes, very moist. Uh, let me go back and make sure I didn't miss anyone's uh, stuff. You should draw some. Uh, wh what was that game, uh, Sonny? Um, Derek, you said, you, what is B-A-T-I-M? I, I don't know if I've, I've missed that. Is it Batum? Is that the name of the game? I saw you said that earlier, and I, I didn't really know what the hell it was. Guys, a tragedy has befell me. Befallen me? Befelled me. I don't know. I have flicked wide out on the Chalice of Madness. Oh, no. Well, my Dark Lord Cthulhu will never forgive me. Actually, he's indifferent. He didn't care about one out. But I think... I think we're done? Yeah. Yes, I did fall in love with these sketchbooks. They are amazing. I love them so much. Yeah, I, I, I have... Um, I don't think I have the mixed media one. I'll have to pick that one up because there's a huge pad they have there. Um, the, the watercolor ones are... Super 10 out of 10. I love these watercolor pads. I cannot speak highly, highlier, highlier, more highlierest of these, uh, of these watercolor pads. They are excellent. I love them a whole bunch. Uh, but hopefully I will have the Stranger Part 2 done soon so you can see uh, what happens or uh, what Dorian the Stranger does. This is Dorian, this is his steed, and this is his chain bound book he wears on the side. Um, I should have it done, the story done this week, and I'm going to hopefully get the video done this week. That's my, that's my, that's my really, it's really my goal. He don't care that it's moist. Uh, but yeah, so listen, everyone, I'm kind of, I'm just going to apologize. I apologize I even tried Twitch tonight. I shouldn't have done that, because that was stupid. Um, Don, I like your idea for the prompt for the week, which is, the, are you the one that said your favorite, uh, draw your favorite Batman character like character from a Batman comic that's pretty cool I like that I might try to do me like a I might try a penguin or a joker I like penguin a lot I draw penguins fun because the big nose I like drawing the big nose I like drawing big noses I don't know I have a weird thing for big noses um let me see I'm gonna try not to yeah Derek I wasn't trying I wouldn't ignore you dude I don't know what B-A-T-I-M is um so you have to tell me that see yeah <laughs> Batman vs. Superman ended with a uh, homoerotic uh, explosion, needless to say. <laughs> mm, yeah, he's going back into the sketchbook. I love it, dude. I love having like finished pieces in a sketchbook. It's so cool. And I will tell you that I'm like two, uh, two watercolor drawings away from finishing this sketchbook. You guys want to see like a NSFW piece I did? Uh, I can't show this on like a, uh, a video video. Like I'm, I'm not going to put it in here. I'm going to blur it or something or skip it. So I'll tell you why. I was sitting at D&D &D one night and uh, I don't think Jerome's still here. But if he was still here, he would totally know. <laughs> so um, like I was sitting in, I planned playing a D&D session one night. And the only, I couldn't think of anything to draw. Because I usually try to draw something out of the dungeon. Oh, have a good night, Don. I'm glad you hung out with us so long. I appreciate you so much. I'll be off here in just a second. I'm just rambling on for a second. Anyone wants to listen to my drunken ramblings, you're welcome to stay. Um, I know everyone in Draws Joker. I know. So I might go Penguin just because uh, it's different, you know. Uh, but, dude, Christian, if you can't find one, dude, I have tons of them at my... Uh, I, every time I go to Walmart, I'm not even exaggerating. Every time I go to Walmart, I buy one. I will send you one if you want one. Let me know, dude. I'll, I'll send you one. I don't give a shit. Yeah, I don't have to ask, I know. <laughs> so, every time I'm playing a D&D &D adventure, um, I always try to... Uh, I always try to draw something from the session. Now, I don't always do it. I just recently started doing that since I started watercoloring. But I always try to draw something from the session. 
in this line. Sorry, I'll shut up. Hold on. There we go. So the um, the last thing I drew, last session we played, and I drew something. I couldn't. There was nothing in the session I could draw. We didn't encounter any villains, no cool rooms. Like it was all just like role playing and stuff, which is fine. I'm not complaining about that. But I couldn't find anything to draw. And then we came upon this room that was had a three toed, uh, three sorry, a three legged stool. So when I heard three legged stool, well, there's only one thing my brain's gonna go to. So I drew a. <laughs> A three-legged stool. Like I said, NSFW. I'm, that's all you get to see of it. <laughs> so I drew a stool that had three legs, and one of the legs just so happened to be the third leg, and then it had poop on the top of it because it was stool, you know, all that good stuff. But uh, anyways, yeah, I'm gonna quit rambling. Um, uh, I appreciate y'all. I ain't going back to Twitch. Don't you worry about that. It's gonna be YouTube. I ain't gonna worry about that. I like YouTube. I like the setup. I like being able to see my stats over here and stuff. That's real cool shit. Um, it's a pretty short stream, hour and 30 minutes, but to be fair, I started at 6 o'clock on Twitch. I streamed like 40 minutes on Twitch, came over here. So, um, anyways, thank you all so much for watching. As always, you know I do really appreciate it. This is three characters from a different role-playing game, by the way. Um, but yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I do really appreciate you, and keep on drawing. Have a good night. Love y'all. And I will see you soon. I'll be back next week, I promise. Okay, real quick, Absinthe, I don't know if you're still on here. I'll show you again. That's it. That's the quick flash of it. That's the, th the three-legged stool. Have a good night. <laughs>